Hey guys, welcome back to Winging It with Vidi on the Commotion. Today, I'm gonna to be making one of my favorites. I make it at least once a week and I'm gonna be making vegetable ramen. It's such an easy way to use up any vegetables that you have left over in the fridge. Um, super healthy, super filling, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you like what you see, please click the like and follow through with the subscribe and let's get cooking. All right, so here are some of the key ingredients that we're gonna need. Uh, just for toppings, we'll have some black sesame seeds. You can use regular, whatever you have, a uh, fried chili oil. Uh, but then we're also gonna need soy sauce, fish sauce, sesame oil, and then sriracha for that heat. We're also gonna use vegetable broth. You can use chicken or beef, but I like to use vegetable. I have some organic ramen, and then also some seaweed as a topper. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with the main ingredients for vegetable ramen, the vegetables. So let's get chopping. So we're gonna cut up some bok choy. Let's chop up some broccoli. We're gonna slice up these green onions and split them up by green and white. We're gonna julienne these baby carrots. Let's mince up six garlic cloves. Let's do a rough chop on these oyster mushrooms. Let's grate a tablespoon of ginger. We're gonna rinse these baby bella mushrooms and then chop them real thin. So I have a pan here on low medium heat. You're gonna put about, I would say, a tablespoon or so of sesame oil. I typically just wing it. There you go. And then let this heat up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna add in that ginger, as well as the garlic. You're gonna let this get fragrant and listen to that bad boy sizzle. All right, so now we're ready to add in our vegetable broth. This is a 32 ounce and I add the whole bad boy in. All right, now you're just gonna mix everything in and let it simmer. All right, and then we're gonna add two cups of H2O to the broth. So I'm gonna eyeball it, but you can put about two tablespoons or so of soy sauce and then adjust to your taste. This feels right to me, so I'm gonna stop right here. Then we're gonna add some fish sauce. It just gives it this like good zingy flavor. Again, I don't really have a measurement, maybe two tablespoons. You can kind of do what you like. Like I do with the rest of my life, I'm gonna wing it. Now for one of my favorite parts, adding that heat, we're gonna put some sriracha in there. And again, just according to how you like your spice, I like things super spicy. So I'm gonna go a little crazy. All right guys, it's time for the veggies. So I like to add in the broccoli first. Add your shrooms. We got the bellas. And we have the oysters. This is such a good way to use leftover veggies that are in your fridge. You can throw literally anything in here. We're gonna add the carrot. The whites of the onion, the green onion. And then the bok choy. All right, so we're gonna let these babies simmer together for about 10-ish minutes. You're gonna cover it, um, raise the heat on high, and then in 10 minutes, we'll drop the noodles in. So it's been 10-ish minutes. Everything's kind of boiled down. It's simmered nicely. So we're gonna add in noodles. Now, I have these organic ramen fancy noodles, but I have used cup noodles, I have used Maggi noodles. Whatever noodles you have works fine. So we're gonna drop these in for about four-ish minutes. Now you can cook these separately, but I like it to cook right into the broth. Okay, so while the noodles are being um, 
cooked. We're gonna make an egg. Typically ramen has like the egg where it's cut in half and the yolk spills out and it's all ooey gooey. I hate that. I like fried egg. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So our ramen is finished, my egg is fried, and now we're just gonna add the toppings. So you can add the green part of the scallions. I like to take little seaweed packets and just crush them and it gives it that extra little crunch. Typically I try and find sriracha sesame seeds, but I only found the black ones, so. Let's sprinkle it right on top. And then, this is my favorite part, is a crunchy fried chili oil. Just like that. And that's all guys. We made our very own vegetable ramen. Thanks for tuning in on Winging It with Vidi. I'm gonna chow down. Thank you.